Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Magic with Zuby. My name is Zuby and if you're brand new to this show, this show is all about a little well-known card game called Magic the Gathering and more. So on today's episode, we are going over the top five mythics of Outlaws of Thunder Junction, the Wild West set of Magic the Gathering, and I hope it's not the last as well too. But before we get into that, Let's get some announcements out of the way. Uh, this podcast is brought to you by Walrus Game Studios, and we have our first TTRPG book out, Dark Storm Adventures, Silver Flames Legacy, Escape to Stangate. It is out available now on RPG. Just look at the link below in the show notes, or search for Dark Storm Adventures at DriveThruRPG.com, and we are coming soon at Barnes & Noble for the physical copy only, and we are working on getting available on Amazon as well. So, uh, some other news that we have uh, for our video game Network Engineer Simulator is we have officially broken over 10,000 wish list, which blows my mind. We are working on getting the demo done uh, in time to release before Cisco Live uh, happens in June. Uh, I just saw the uh, the demo probably a day or two ago as of this recording, and it's looking really good. There's you know still some uh, polish that has to get done, and you know little kinks and bugs and all that other kind of stuff getting done. So. The, the level itself is essentially done. It's just there's still a lot of like polishing and whatever, what have you done. So I'm hoping we get to release it to the public pretty soon. I'm super excited. And then everyone can become a network engineer <laughs> and realize how awesome it is. So, uh, yeah, there's that. And then, yeah, I mean, work continues on book two of Dark Storm Adventures. I've uh, been working on that and trying to think of any other... I mean, we've got some other video games we're talking about. Um, as far as other network simulator news, we're collaborating with a musical artist uh, who is working on making the music of our game, which is awesome. We've got some logo work done. We've got some artists in store, uh, you know, working on getting artwork done, not just for the TTRPG modules, but also for network simulator. So awesome, awesome. Uh, can't wait to share all that with you and really get to present it to the public there. So let's get on with our top five mythics of Outlaws of Thunder Junction. All right. Our first one up is Bristly Bill Spine Sower for one and a green. He is a legendary plant druid. He's a 2-2 with landfall triggers. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you put a 1-1 counter on target creature. You pay 3 double green, double the number of 1-1 counters on each creature you control, and it has a flavor text of, oh, wake up little ones, there's a new day ahead. I like it. Well, first of all, not only is the art of Bristly Bill amazing, I love him, and I want more of Bristly Bill. Uh, wizards, you better put him in future magic sets and have him traverse the planes. Make him a planeswalker. I don't care, you, you made a bug a planeswalker, right? You made a tree a planeswalker. Come on. Make make a living uh, cactus a planeswalker, okay? You can do it. All right, so not only is this, like, one amazing commander, you know, especially if you're playing a landfall deck, uh, but also just even if you put this in something like Omnath Locus of Rage, right, for Gruul, this is a great addition to it. Uh, I, I've already played a... I've already played against this a bunch in arena brawl and it's it's nasty it gets nasty because with all the ramp that green gets you're like done none you you just can't keep up with it if you don't have removal you're you're just done next up is we've got a reprint a much 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 needed reprint of terror of the peaks three double red dragon it is a five four it's not a legendary you see that uh, has flying. Terror of the Peaks has spells your opponents cast that target Terror of the Peaks costs an additional three life to cast. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, Terror of the Peaks deals damage equal to that creature's power to any target. So not only is this great for Dragon Tribal, it is great in standard. It was great in standard before when it was printed in M21? M20? I think? I can't remember now. But it is a much needed reprint. It was super expensive. And I'm glad to see it reprinted. And this art for it 
You know what the only thing's missing on this art is a cowboy hat on Terror of the Peaks. I mean, wizards, what are you doing? Why didn't you give Terror of the Peaks a cowboy hat? I'm disappointed. Disappointed, but it is a much needed and great reprint. Next up, we got Geared Mirror of the Wilds for red, green, and white. It is a legendary human shaman creature. That is a 3-3 with haste. Non-token creatures you control have tapped this, create a token that's a copy of target token you control that entered the battlefield this turn. The conclave was soft. The claws were trapped beast. Here in this untamed wilderness, nature can truly roam free. Uh, that's some awesome flavor text, by the way. But what this card can do, I can just see so many people coming up with crazy shenanigans. I mean, there's got to be some kiki-jiki shenanigans out there that someone's already thought of and come up with. Um, I wouldn't mind building this kind of card because I did like the other Geared, but this Geared, I don't know, just seems more fun. Like, because I like making tokens and making more tokens of tokens, uh, creating a lot of tokens and all my tokens. And oh my god, oops, all tokens. I mean, what are you going to do? Um, really good card. Uh, really fun to see Geared is back and not just in a commander set. So I hope we get to see more of him. So next up, we have Kellen the Kid for green, white, and blue. It is a legendary human fairy rogue creature. It's a 3-3. Three, three. It is a has flying and lifelink. Whenever you cast a spell from anywhere other than your hand... You may cast a permanent spell with equal or lesser mana value from your hand without paying its mana cost. If you don't, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. I found out who I was. Now it's time to discover who I am. Well, there you go, Kellen the Kid. Um, not only is this a great kind of commander that if you have abilities to cast stuff outside of your hand, like from your library, from your graveyard, which in these colors, there's not too much from your graveyard. Well, I mean, there would be some stuff from your library you could cast, but I have a feeling that this is designed more from the plotin, the plotin, uh, where uh, you put a card off to the side and you cast it later for free, and which allows you to essentially do a two-for-one type thing, right? So it's cool um i mean kellen looks badass in the cowboy outfit and the cowboy hat uh, except for the weird sword thingy i mean to me that looks like a uh, zealot's blade from starcraft 2 if i have to be honest here um and, and plus fun commander card too especially if you're gonna build like a plot tribal or anything like that you pl and you have to call the deck the name you plot all me I mean, what else are you going to call it? There's just nothing else. All right, last but certainly not least of all the mythics, it is Gold Vein Hydra. I, okay, so before I get into this card, I love Hydra cards. My first Commander Crew Fix, uh, before I made it like a color, well, before I made it like a Phyrexian slash Eldrazi type deck, it was a Hydra tribal deck. And I still have some Hydras in there, like I've got, Hydra Broodmaster, which has won me so many games. I, I can't get rid of that card in that deck because that's just an OG. Um, I've got some other ones too, like, uh, oh god, the the Krasis one. Hydra Krasis. Oh my god, I'm forgetting the name of it. Uh, anyways, so uh, Hydras, they bring out the Timmy in me. So this is why this is on the list here. It may not be the most exciting mythic, but for me, you know, what can I say? I am who I am. Uh, Gold Vein Hydra for X and a green. It is a Hydra creature that comes out as a 0-0. Zero, zero, has Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. Ooh, triple threat. Uh, this enters the battlefield with X-1-1 one, one counters. When Gold Vein Hydra dies, create a number of tapped treasure tokens equal to its power. So not only, you know, like a typical Hydra where you pay X amount of mana to pump it up. You know, you pay 5 mana into X. So it comes out as a 5-5. Five, five. So when it dies, you create five trap or tap treasure tokens, which is amazing. I mean, treasure tokens have just sort of overtaken the magic sphere ever since they got created. And it's just a way for all colors to sort of ramp up. And that this, I mean, there's got to be some like shenanigans afoot, like especially in Golgari where... You know, you sacrifice this, get a bunch of treasure tokens, you get it back into your hand or cast it from your graveyard and just 
keep getting more and more and more treasure tokens. So there you have it. There is the top five mythics of Outlaws of Thunder Junction. I think I'm going to start doing this for more sets going forward. Like we've got Modern Horizons 3 on the horizon. Let's see what I did there. Um, and some of the previews for that have been amazing and I love it so far. And then, you know, we've got Assassin's Creed coming out. We've got Bloomborough. Um, there's one more that I am just forgetting the name of Dusk Harrow, Dusk Hallow, something. I got to look it up, but I, I mean, I, I'm pretty excited. I'm definitely excited about Modern Horizons 3 and I'm pretty excited about the Assassin's Creed, uh, universes beyond because, you know, I, I've, I've only ever really played the first couple Assassin's Creed games and they were fun as hell. Um, Never really played past that, but I've always been a fan of the series, at least the first couple games. So there you have it. That is my top five mythics of Outlaws of Thunder Junction. I hope you enjoyed listening and or watching, and I hope you all have a great day.